Now that Vikandi has officially been rotated out of the live server playlist, I figured it would be a good time to talk about Vikandi, the future of this map in the game, and also share some of my thoughts. So before we get into all of this, in the background, this is some really old gameplay of when Vikendi first came out and I was playing it on the Xbox One X with an SSD. Right here, I'm doing the care, pa care package crate drop technique. I have a video about this on my channel if you are interested in learning how to do this. It works best on Vikendi and also Sanak, but if you are pro at doing it, you can also do it on Erangal and Miramar. It's just a little bit more difficult because of how big the map is. So you see, start off with an AWM, Gilly suit, which is actually kind of a funny first gun to start off with because I think everyone gets the most excited when they see an AWM in the game out of the care package, but you don't want anyone to run up with you because there's basically no iron sights on that gun. So I get this gun, go into the compound and uh, start looting up luckily. Also, um, if you're listening now, you definitely got to stay tuned to the end of this video. This has one of the most ridiculous kills in it at the end here. Uh, to get the chicken dinner, spoiler alert, I did get the chicken dinner here, but the last kill of this match is so ridiculous that when I started watching it, I laughed out loud and I actually named this video my worst chicken dinner ever. And I never shared it on YouTube because it's so embarrassing but this is I was still relatively you gotta extend that new to playing the game not really I mean I'd been playing for a year uh, maybe less than a year I'd been playing for less than a year and I had been playing daily for about uh, since September um, so I don't know how many months that was maybe maybe five months so this gameplay is a little off but you know, I was going for the care package trying to make a video and that's that's where we were but anyways kind of going off on a tangent there I figured this would be a good gameplay in the background of this video because this is old Vikendi and eventually PUBG went in and refreshed this map and made some changes, but I preferred old Vikendi. So I figured let's use some old gameplay and this was one of the only ones I could find of the old map that I hadn't deleted already. So there's a lot of talk about here with this with this situation that went on. I've never really seen a map get rotated out of a game like this. It's hard to compare because every game is different, but you know, if you're playing Call of Duty map, you don't rarely see, uh, or if you're playing Call of Duty, you don't rarely see a map get rotated out. And then obviously PUBG is a lot different than Fortnite because, or games that only have one map, Battle Royale, uh, because that's an ever evolving map when PUBG has the other maps. Two schools of thought there, what's better? Do you evolve the map, do you make more? I'm in the camp that I love that PUBG has created different maps with different experience, and that's why I like Vikendi so much. This is really one of my favorite maps in the game, so I'm just kind of surprised that it did get taken out. But I think I understand why. So let's go over all that stuff right now. So the implementation, I feel like, is the best place to start. So when this map was implemented into the game, it did not go over very well. So I play on console, but I also have the game on PC. So I played on there as well. But on console, there were so many issues with performance. It was so bad. People's Xboxes were crashing. Again, people were driving through bridges, which watching that happen was hilarious. Uh, sometimes watching some enemy players try to cross the bridge on Castle and just go through and die. And uh, you know, help me get further in the game. Sorry to them. And then also one of the best additions to the game that really didn't harm anybody and just created a ton of laughs was the Harry Potter car, where if you literally started driving fast enough on Vikendi, your car would take off and you would just start flying around the map. This was actually really for only the OG Xbox users because their Xbox wouldn't load the surrounding map fast enough as they were driving down the road and it would cause them to start flying into the air. Um, but eventually, of course, all that stuff had to be fixed and it could not remain in the game. And then eventually they did fix it for console. And I think people started to enjoy the map more after they made some additions or changes to the game. So they changed the way the circle rotated and improved the middle part of the game, which was a little slow at first. And they also added some increased loot, which made it a great place to snipe. But Kendi, to me, I call it kind of in that Goldilocks zone of all the maps because it's not too big, it's not too small, and it's got everything you want on it. A lot of snipers, it's got the level three helmet spawn, which I think is really cool. I feel like that should be on more maps or maybe every map. Uh, it's got the submachine gun that I mentioned that, MP5K. It's got the G36C, the unique weapons. It's got the best vehicle in the game, the Zima, which is the easiest vehicle to control in the game. And uh, speaking of that, there's a Zima pulling up right here. So this is an interesting scenario. You can tell I'm playing very passive here. If this happened to me today, I would try to get both these guys. But uh, I actually wait for these two to fight it out and um, try to steal a kill kind of just camping here a little bit, if I do say so myself. Um, so it's got a little bit of everything. And to me, when I look at it, I'm like, 
It's got really great locations. I'll get over to it in a little bit. And all these cool guns and everything. I don't really get why people don't like it. Actually, let's just talk about it. I brought it up. So I, I wrote a list of like cool locations here, unique locations in the map. I'm not saying these are my favorite, but it's got some of the best locations, most unique out of any other map that I've seen. We got Castle, Coal Mine, Cosmodrome, Cement Factory, Winery, Dino Park. I mean, these are really unique locations that, again, just to repeat myself, you're not going to see on another map. And then these aren't even my favorite places to land. You got Mount Kresnik, Villa. My favorite place to land in the map is uh, Port on the top of the map. And if you go on the outskirts of the map, there's really cool uh, castles. I got Dobro, uh, Krichas, Volnova, even though it got changed, it was still pretty unique. And there were so many cool uh, rivers on the outskirts of the map that I really liked, especially on the east side of the map. It goes from snow to grass. There's different colors, there's trees, and it's one of the most realistic looking maps out of any other map in the game. So some of the other maps, like if you look at Erangel, it really looks like it's a video game map. I mean, there's just like open fields, random compound, random city, random tree, and in Vikendi, look around in the background here to the right as I'm shooting this guy, there's actually like a little forest area that looks like they cleared away the forest and made those warehouses in the background. There's this compound by the road, there's mountains in the background that actually has some flow to it. It really seems like an area that would be in real life with the with the density of the trees in certain areas. Uh, to me, it just has that vibe. So I think it was really the best made map, but I suppose for performance, it really wasn't because if you go for PC players and try to see their experience, and I, I went on Reddit to read some old posts about uh, complaints about Vikendi, and most of the PC players had a lot of complaints about uh, performance, FPS, and all that stuff. Um, I read a one post where somebody complained that their frames constantly went from 145 to 60, and they had an average of 100. Coming from us console players, it's kind of hilarious because we only deal with 30 frames per second, but obviously it's not a fair argument to make because if you have a strong PC, you're entitled to having high frames per second, and people pay a lot of money to have these expensive setups and, and monitors. It is still pretty funny, though, because we can't even push past uh, 30 frames per second on console. Kind of the argument. It's the only argument we have against you PC Master Race people. You complain. You whine, you whine about your frames. Uh, but obviously, we're the console noobs. I get it. We use a controller, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, touche. Um, but, you know, love across all platforms. I'm kind of just messing around uh, for the PC Master Race. But I get it. So, it seemed like a lot of the hate from the map, to me, in my... In my um, perception is coming from PC because I don't see a lot of this hate for the map on console and then reading more about people's complaints even on console as well as that a lot of people complained about um, how many compounds there were on the map and that it was easy to get third partied but I always found that the compounds made it easier to get into the final circles without getting shot crossing a field you could skip from one compound to another and and make it in a little bit more safe but from what I read online it seemed like there was a lot of feedback negative feedback coming from the amount of compounds. So fast forward to when PUBG did the refresh of the map, they deleted a bunch of compounds in the game. And to me, this was kind of unfortunate because first of all, it wasn't done very well. If you look around the map and see where they deleted the compounds, you can actually see that the, the area of the ground is still flat and you can see the trails of where you know players were supposed to walk in between certain buildings. So it looked like, unfortunately, that they didn't do the best job making these changes and that they deleted some of my favorite compounds and they removed that one building that I always thought was really cool. It was like a three-story building in the game that almost looked like an elevated barn house. That building's completely gone from the map. It took me a while to notice it, uh, but I'm never really sure why they did that and then they also made the changes to castle where they added the ice around castle and even though it was kind of fun to drive on there and have some new stuff on the map i really did not like that change because castle was such a unique place to land it was like a high risk high reward you land there go for loot um, but then you had to risk getting out of there crossing the bridge where if there's a roadblock and it made for some interesting circle rotations if you were stuck on one side of the map versus the other. Um, and that totally removed that aspect of the game where you could just drive across it. So there didn't, really was no separation of the islands of the Kendi or the two different land masses and uh, kind of totally changed the vibe to me. So I think a lot of my friends and I agreed that we like old Vikendi over new Vikendi. And I'm not sure what we're going to see with the future of Vikendi because originally when they took it out of the game, they said that they were just taking it out to make sure that there was a healthy player base with the new map Karakim. And I'm not sure how that really makes a difference either. Why having five maps versus four would change the uh, player base or change the time to get a map. Because in my head, 
if you know why, please comment down in the comments below because I, I don't really get this. Because in my head, I view it as 100 people queue up and then they just roll the dice, the candy. 100 people queue up, roll the dice, Miramar. And I don't know why having another map would really change that formula, right? It's the first 100 people that queue up, just get a random map. So I'm not sure why. So then they originally said that was the reason, and then they moved to that Vikendi will be coming back later stronger. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. So if you have any information about that, uh, please let me know. But I got a sidetrack to the end of this game. So check this out. One person left. I have level three gear, an AWM M4, which some people would probably consider the best setup in the game. I'm potatoing so bad. Now I'm starting to panic. Um, hitting the blue, I have about an eighth of my health left. Full boost is going, level three helmet is damaged up pretty bad. This guy is flanking around, knows that I'm pretty weak, but he goes back to the rock. We're in the final circle here. So I start throwing smokes. I don't know what I was doing here. I think I was trying to smoke, throw a smoke in front of me and that second one hit off the tree. I'm completely screwed. I don't know what I'm doing. I throw a stun off the tree. I stunned myself, look at my health here. Somehow get behind this guy. I think he took his pan out because he thought I was so bad. And I didn't realize at the time that's what he did. Uh, but I ended up shooting him because I really wanted to get the chicken dinner. Um, so yes, I know that was embarrassing, but I included it for you guys. After listening to this back, I realized I forgot to mention that there was a time where I went on my computer to try the candy to see the performance issues. This was a while ago back when there was still map selection and I actually couldn't get a game on the candy. And it was at that moment that I realized that there was some kind of problem here that nobody was playing this map. And I forget exactly what led to PUBG removing map selection for PC because console really never had it. Um, but I'm assuming that this had to be part of it because nobody was playing that map and if you've got say five or ten people that wanted to play Vikendi, they couldn't on the live server. So that's definitely an issue and kind of just shows the overall theme of what happened to the map. Is it just a PC thing? Is it an esports thing? Um, and did it just trickle down to everybody? And at the end of the day, this isn't a huge issue. It's just a map in PUBG, but uh, just an interesting topic that I wanted to discuss. And I know that people put a lot of time into this map developers out there. So hopefully they don't uh, just completely scrap the map and do something different with it or a different snow map. I would like to see it kind of like old school Vikendi, but with some improvements that make people enjoy the map more and whatever that means, because to me, I always enjoyed playing on the map um, once I got used to it after the first week or so. So let me know what you guys think. Definitely looking at the comments down below. You know, I check all of them. I try to reply to as many as possible. As always, thank you all for watching. I'm Blitz5 and peace out.